All right, well, I'm Craig Zimmerman. I'm the creator of 402 Life. Wait a second. I created 402 Life about two years ago now, and it's just all about art, culture, music, things that people don't normally hear about um, that are going on in Lincoln that I just want to get out there. I want to share them with everyone so that people know what's going on, because there's a lot that people miss. People always say there's nothing to do in this town, but they're just wrong. There's something going on every night. I lived in Little Rock, Arkansas for 10 years, and they had a weekly, kind of like newspaper, called The Sync, but it was just all about music and arts going on. And I came here, and I didn't really see anything like that. Like, there's Ground Zero, and they're kind of doing that thing, but you have to be with the Journal Star, and there's nothing just out there for people to check out. So the best part about 402 Life is that it's a combination of all of my hobbies and all of my passions. Photography, going to events, seeing music, seeing art, making videos, everything I love to do just all came together. I can, I mean, realistically, it's like the best journal someone could have for their life. And I get to share it with everyone and show stuff, show people what's going on in Lincoln. So my passion for video and photography started when I got a tax return. And I said, what am I gonna do with this? I have no idea. And I went to Best Buy and saw a Canon camera and was like, that sounds fun, let's do that. Some opportunities and successes that I've had through working with 402 Life, um, I've gotten to work with other local businesses like Red Rebel Media, their local kind of like video and, video, uh, video and photography production company, and got to freelance work with them in Bold, Nebraska for the Keystone Pipeline. Um, got to work with Here in Nebraska uh, take some photos for them and share their content and they're super awesome people out of Omaha covering music as well. My family's been super supportive through out trying to start this and photography and everything. Uh, actually not too long ago my grandma came down I was like so how are things going with it? I was like oh it's great I mean I'm just trying to get better at this video stuff you know there's some equipment I really want. It's like oh yeah what's that? And I showed her and it was a $500 camera stabilizer thing and she's like oh okay well I'll get that I was like you why and she's like just I want to help you out so they're super supportive they love what I've been doing uh, my brother's in New York and he said that that's a freaking awesome thing that I'm doing for Lincoln because he thought when he was here there's nothing to do and I mean now he's in New York where there's a million things to do and that's what I'm trying to show people here is that there's more than just football games and drinking. There's art, there's music, there's events every night, and just gotta live it up. When I first got into photography and I was picking it up, I realized that my style was just all about composition and lighting and getting all the lines to just line up in that perfect way. Like there's one perfect way to look at something to make it just look amazing can't just walk up and take a flat photo unless you're gonna Photoshop the crap out of it. And uh, I realized that even as a kid, I was doing that. Like if I was sitting in church and the preacher was pacing back and forth and there were two columns behind him, I'd wait for that perfect moment where he was between the two columns and everything just lined up. And taking that like to shows, trying to cover those, um, you can't just walk up and line up a shot. You have to wait. They're moving, they're jumping around, they're dancing, and you just have to wait for that perfect moment. You just have to be dedicated and patient and just wait for that moment. No fear. 